finalist in the Canadian Open, Rishon Yeske. As you can see, these Masters Series events, nowhere to hide, every match is so tough. Let's take a look at our two gladiators this evening. And have a look at the young Argentine, just 18. No singles titles yet, much is expected of him. Hills from Tandil, same town. Mariana Zabaleta and Juan Manaka come from, so rich amount of talent coming from that area in Argentina. One last record, not too bad. He's in the plus so far in 2007, winning more than he's losing. And as you can see, that ranking is moving swiftly in the right direction. Already breaking into the top 100 early on in 06. Was youngest to do so. 18 years and two months. He finished inside the top 100. Goal. And he's also the youngest player to be in this event in the main draw. And 18 and a few months on top of that. But you know what I like about him is he showed the ability to play well on some different surfaces. Adelaide, semi final, Wimbledon went out there. He did win a match, he played okay on the grass. And then we saw at Indianapolis, he actually won the doubles. Just two weeks ago, he played with Travis Parrott. They beat Gavishvili and Karlovic. So, you know what? This is his first time playing here in Canada. But he does possess a game that you would think is primarily made for clay, but he's been able to play on the voucher surface. In fact, he's one of the Argentinian guys who lists playing on a hard court as his preference to playing on clay, which is obviously very strange for most of us to believe. But that is the case. Most of his fellow countrymen, of course, spread that red clay on the cereal in the morning. Absolutely love <laughs> That's why they're so good on it. I can figure that out. Let's take a look at his opponent this evening, affectionately known amongst his peers as Frankie Dank. Frank Dankovich. Played for back in 2003. Also just 22 years of age. And coming off some of the best results of his career, no doubt, where a couple of weeks ago he took care of none other than Andy Roddick when he made it all the ways to the finals in Indianapolis eventually losing to Dmitry Tursunov. So that win-loss career in 2007 has evened up nicely as a result of that event. You can see his ranking also moving in the right direction, pretty close to his career high at the moment. And I assume with not too many points to defend between now and the end of the year, I think he's going to beat that ranking of 88. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. And it's interesting the little correlation between Del Potro winning the doubles at Indy, but this man having the best result of his career that same week. Having defeated Roddick before losing Dmitry Tursunov. And he hasn't had much experience playing at the Master Series level. He hasn't had very many matches really to compete in to play in. But you would think if he's going to start to come through, this would probably be, probably be here in front of his home. Absolutely. And he can mix it with the best of them. Lost four sets to Hewitt early on in the Australian Open. Three sets, tight three set match to Gonzalez and Indian Wells, so 